Hi, it's Nate again. I'm sure you've seen something referencing the Anka Zone Dance. And I know, it's not technically a dance, but we'll get there. I mean, you clicked on the thumbnail, so I'm only going to assume that's why you're here. You kind of have a vague idea of what this video is pertaining to. It's crazy to see how quickly a word can spread on something to make it viral in what felt like less than 24 hours. So today I'm going to vaguely talk about the sources of the video, and I might omit certain words due to YouTube censorship because I'm not trying to get marked for something so silly. So let me go ahead and give you a brief intro into the video itself. Then I'll be talking a bit more about the musician who created the song and more clips of him in more recent years. The viral video itself is an animation by an artist under the name Zone or Zone Sama. They're an artist who is pretty well known in the NSFW artist community. They created an animation depicting the Animal Crossing boy player character and the villager Anka doing some pretty suspect things. And fun fact, Anka's name comes from Ankh, which roughly translates to the key of life. So do with that what you will. And I won't show the video here because it gets pretty intense to say the least. The video went viral on TikTok and was taken down due to the adult nature of the original video. The spread of that video felt like half people who genuinely enjoyed it and the other half in shock and showing others the video as a way of saying, I saw this video and now you have to as well. This is what causes the video to get as widespread as it has at this point. And overnight, you'd see female cosplayers making their own version of the video, either dressed as Anka or posed or making emotes the same way Anka did in the animation. Some meme videos would also play the actual music that was used in the video as their background music, getting questionable comments from other users on Instagram or other social media. The style of the video itself reminds me a bit of the Zero Two videos that got popular, and I'm sure that such a high amount of views brought a much higher amount of awareness and audience to the anime series Darling in the Franks. So let's get on to the real reason why I'm even making this video. The music. It's good. It slaps. It's an addicting song that I personally find incredibly easy to play on loop and never actually get tired of hearing it. When I first heard the song, it sounded to me like some sort of retro revival type of music, like modern synth pop with a lot of influence from the 80s. So I'd say something like Vaporwave, Future Funk, or even something like the Midnight or Miami Horror, which modernized 80s music. Well, that's where I'd be wrong. The song was actually released in 1985. The song is called Camel by Camel by Alexander Martin under the alias Sandy Martin. Camel by Camel is a song that falls into a genre of music called Italio Disco. Sandy Martin is a Croatian singer and songwriter. He's famous for songs such as People from Ibiza, Exotic and Erotic, and now Camel by Camel. Which I guess Camel by Camel was known before, but nothing to the level that it is at now. Sandy Martin was born Alexander Martin in Zagreb, Yugoslavia on the 4th of October in 1959. He moved to Milan in the 1970s, and when you look at Sandy Martin's Wikipedia page, it says that Camel by Camel was number 4 in the Italy charts. However, I couldn't find anything relating to that in official sources. I did find a website that said that Camel by Camel was number 29 in the Italy Top 100 Pop Music Charts in 1989, and I would say that's a pretty substantial achievement, and not one to overlook. So, I'm now going to show some different video clips. I also planned on reading excerpts from interviews, but I couldn't find that much with him and written interviews. So, this is all just going to be clips, sadly. The first clip I'll show is a snippet of his live performance in Azuro in 1989, which is sadly a playback type of performance, so there are not any sort of live components of the show. And that seems to reign true for the other clips I'm going to show of him performing live. So, let's get to the clip. Azoro, or subtitle with the word Summer of Europe, was a musical TV program made by Vittorio Salvetti and it aired from 1982 to 1992. This program was born from the idea of the creator Vittorio, a singing event that brings luck to the players of the Italian national football team, who shortly after would become world championships at its first event at the 1982 Soccer World Championship in Spain. The declared objective of the event was also to promote Italian music with a voting and participation mechanism different from the usual singing events. 
I personally think it is so surreal hearing this song over loudspeakers. He also does manage to get the audience hyped up and clapping to the beat of the song. So here's the second video of Camel by Camel being performed in 2010. The crowd seems to be pretty large based on the size of the stage. And I will apologize for the low quality of the audio. So I will have to bring down the gain and hopefully it doesn't burst your ears too much. Here's a third clip from February 12th, 2016 that seems to be at a much smaller club, which is where I found most of the other clips, but sadly were mostly clips of the two other famous songs he has, People From Ibiza and Exotic and Erotic. <laughs> There is one more clip, which in my opinion might actually be a confirmation that he knows exactly what's going on. It's a clip that took place right after his performance of People From Ibiza at the Arena Suzuki 607080, which took place on September 25th, 2021, which is a few months after the Anka clip actually blew up. <laughs> Non mi fare cose strane, non mi fare fare no, cose strane. No, io non ti faccio fare cose strane, però tu lo facevi veramente. Ascoltami, tu lo facevi sul serio. Un abbraccio, un abbraccio. Gli no. facevo così. Eh, bravo. Tu facevi così, bravo. Tutti i capelli biondi. Grazie per la pubblicità. <ride> grazie, Sandy, grazie. Grazie. Ci... A lei dal più bel posto del mondo. Ciao a tutti. Grazie a Sandy Marto. Ciao, Sandy. Ciao, a tutti. ciao. ciao. Allora, uh, Gino, Emma. I recorded this via a screen capture because there was an option for closed captioning in English, but I don't know if these subtitles are actually accurate and they also do seem to be a bit incomplete. So if anyone that watches this speaks Italian and can translate everything here, that would be so, so cool if I could get a full translation of what's being said. I mean, he makes gestures about dancing and like seems a little awkward, so I, I, it leads me to believe that it is pretty genuine and that it seems like the host might be making fun of his reach and like the song itself and the animation. But, you know, let me know what you think, if you think otherwise, or think it's true that that's what's happening. I tried to track down some sort of social media or email account to reach him on, and try and make some sort of interview happen, because I do genuinely enjoy the song, and would like to hear what his point of view is on the entire thing, since I'm sure it was probably out of nowhere for him, especially with the source material being so, like, out there. I mean, to have songs called exotic and erotic, I'd say he's probably pretty cool with it. I'd also want to ask him if he'd want to re-record the song, because I have to say, I really do enjoy the sounds he chose on the original recording of camel by camel so i'd love to see what he would do within modern restraint so that just about does it for me and what i set out doing with this video i genuinely hope it was insightful and i could at least give you an audible chuckle because those performances they they like really had me laughing i was every time that intro would start up i would just lose it just because these videos were taken years prior so you know no one has any idea what type of thing will change and I, I just found it to be genuinely hilarious. But if anyone could at any point, I mean, it would probably take a miracle, but if someone could set me up with an interview or point of contact, I would happily record and post what comes out of it because like you, I'm really interested in seeing this side of the story from his point of view. But anyway, if you enjoy the video, please leave a like and also consider subscribing to my channel where I post iceberg videos and would like to delve more into topics such as this. I'm also open to suggestions on what you'd like to see me cover next. Comments are always appreciated from you. Check out my Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. I'm what's up, Nate, on all of those sites as well. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day and goodbye for now.